the quest for alternative propulsion methods in motorcycles has left behind their four-wheeled counterparts, but innovation in this sector is not standing still. While electric motorcycles are becoming increasingly common, hydrogen-powered bikes have remained a rarity. That was until now. Kawasaki, a name known for high-performance motorcycles, has taken a significant leap forward with its announcement of the hydrogen-powered bike, based on the revered Ninja H2. Now in the past, I have made a video on this, but back then it was all talk. Now they have built the real thing. You see Kawasaki's foray into hydrogen-powered motorcycles began quietly behind closed doors in March of last year. The company's engineers embarked on an ambitious project to transform the Ninja H2, which is a well-known high-performance model, into a hydrogen field machine. By the start of the new year, Kawasaki had commenced testing the modified motorcycle. The culmination of this effort was showcased on July 20th at the Suzuka circuit in Japan, where the hydrogen-powered Ninja made its public debut. The transformation of the Ninja H2 was no small feat. The bike's chassis underwent substantial modifications to accommodate hydrogen fuel canisters and the necessary fuel supply system. More significantly, the engine, a 998cc supercharged inline-4 engine known for its performance and agility, was re-engineered to use a new hydrogen injection system. This adjustment allowed the engine to operate using hydrogen, which combusts similarly to gasoline but with different byproducts. Now, for those that don't know, hydrogen combustion in internal combustion engines follows the basic principles of traditional engines. Hydrogen and air are mixed, ignited and combusted. However, hydrogen combustion presents a cleaner alternative to gasoline. When hydrogen burns, the primary byproduct is water, which exits the exhaust in the form of mist. This is a notable advantage over conventional engines, which emit harmful pollutants such as carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides. Kawasaki's hydrogen-powered Ninja H2, despite its innovative technology, does not fully escape its environmental impact though. The engine still requires a small amount of engine oil lubrication, which produces a minimal amount of CO2. However, this emission is relatively minor compared to the output from its gasoline-powered siblings. And when I say it produces a bit of CO2, like now and again a bit of oil will seep past the pistons into the combustion chamber and that will ignite with hydrogen and go in. So it's really, it's a very small amount. Anyways, there is still a question, for me at least, um, is it still fast? Well, in terms of performance, Kawasaki has yet to release detailed specifications for this new hydrogen-powered Ninja H2. The brief video footage from the Suzuka demonstration suggests a quieter, more subdued engine noise compared to the roaring, high-revving nature of the traditional Ninja H2. Project head Satuaki Ichi likened the sound of the hydrogen engine to that of a humidifier, highlighting the stark contrast between the new bike's operation and the aggressive auditory feedback which is typical of high-performance motorcycles. Now, I will say, I love the idea of a hydrogen internal combustion engine, but a motorcycle should be loud, aggressive, and give a visceral feedback to the rider. So, taking the supercharged inline-4 and making it sound like a humidifier seems stupid to me. It is worth noting, though, that this aspect could be adjusted in future iterations. Custom exhaust systems or modifications could potentially enhance the auditory experience. I mean, the Toyota GRH2, which also runs on hydrogen, sounds amazing, so I'm guessing it all comes down to mufflers and tuning. Anyways, Kawasaki's hydrogen-powered Ninja H2 is currently in the experimental stages, with commercial availability anticipated by the end of the decade. The timeline for this release will depend heavily on the development of hydrogen fuel infrastructure and the evolution of legal regulations governing hydrogen vehicles in various countries. The project is part of Kawasaki's broader hydrogen small mobility and engine technology program, which aims to advance hydrogen technology not only for motorcycles but also for cars and other small mobility vehicles. This program is also supported by other major Japanese manufacturers, which include Suzuki, Honda, Yamaha and the king of hydrogen in my opinion, Toyota. Now this collaborative effort is focused on creating a comprehensive hydrogen infrastructure including refueling systems and technologies necessary for the widespread adoption of this new fuel. One of the significant barriers to the adoption of hydrogen vehicles is the current lack of hydrogen refueling infrastructure. 
You see, unlike electric vehicles, which benefit from a growing network of charging stations, hydrogen vehicles face the challenges of limited refilling options. The infrastructure gap has hindered the broader acceptance of hydrogen technology, making it less convenient for everyday use compared to electric vehicles. But despite these challenges, hydrogen presents several advantages over electric vehicles. For one, refueling with hydrogen is much quicker than charging an electric vehicle, which can be a significant convenience for users. Moreover, hydrogen production, particularly from renewable sources, can offer a greener alternative to the resource-intensive and really not that green process associated with battery production. The promise of hydrogen-powered motorcycles extends beyond their environmental benefits. They represent a potential new direction for motorcycle technology, combining the thrills of high-performance riding with a cleaner energy source. Kawasaki's initiative may spark interest among other manufacturers to build bikes that have the sound and feel of a combustion engine, but still keeps the polar bears alive. To end this video off, Kawasaki's hydrogen-powered Ninja H2 marks a pioneering step in the evolution of motorcycle propulsion. While the road to commercial availability is still under construction, the project highlights the potential of hydrogen as a viable alternative to gasoline. As the industry progresses and infrastructure develops, the dream of riding a high-performance, environmentally friendly motorcycle could become a reality for enthusiasts around the world. But at the end of that, let me know what you guys think of this. I do think it's great. Um, I ride motorcycles and the whole thing that makes a motorcycle fun is the fact that it's scary and aggressive and it's like an angry bee that's between your legs. Um, an electric motorcycle, I'm not saying they're slow. I'm sure they are also like exhilarating and fast and everything. But the fact that it's loud and it vibrates and you've got a feedback through the bike, like it's, you, you're not just feeling that you're going fast. The bike tells you you're going fast because it's freaking screaming and stuff. I, I like that and I prefer that. So if if there's a an option where you can have the combustion engine noise, the feeling, the characteristics of a true combustion engine, whilst keeping it green and clean, I would go for that option. If it's um, affordable, that is also a big thing. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.